In this video, I'm going to walk you through creating a new metric based on data that is currently unavailable within the Dynamics 365 customer data set. I'm going to walk you through a scenario where I am wanting to add a user's or an agent's title to omnichannel historical reports. Currently, we don't expose title as an attribute out of the box. To begin with, we should start by navigating to the historical workspace within Power BI. And once you're there, go ahead and open the omnichannel historical report and download a copy make sure that you download with live connection once the download is complete go ahead and open it with power bi desktop after opening you will be able to see a copy of the report with the out of the box data model and the attributes associated with it go ahead and click on the modeling tab and click on make changes to this model once you click on it you will be asked to create a direct query connection this will create a local model and that local model will in turn connect to the Dynamics 365 customer service data model using direct query. This will allow for you to access all of the attributes available with the out of the box model while also giving you the ability to add additional data sources and also creating new metrics based on it. Once the creation of the local model is complete, go ahead and click on home and click on Dataverse. I'm clicking on Dataverse because I'm planning on adding data from within Dynamics 365 customer service. If you plan on bringing in data from external data sources, make sure that you click on Get Data and select the appropriate data set. You could be selecting something like a SQL Server or another Power BI data set or a no data feed. Make sure you select your Dynamics 365 customer service instance and then navigate to the system user entity because the user's title is contained within that entity. I'm going to go ahead and select it and I'm gonna click on transform data to use Power Query to go ahead and edit the data that I'm gonna load into the model. Make sure that you choose the right connection setting. You get an option between choosing import and direct query. A direct query will be more applicable for real-time report where you pull in the data every time you refresh. A import mode would be more suited for something like a historical report. Um, for the purpose of the demo, I'm gonna go ahead and select direct query. And in the editor, I'm gonna go ahead and remove all the columns but the system user ID and the title. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm making sure I'm pulling in only the relevant information that's needed while making sure that I discard all the other additional column. Uh, always make sure that you pull in only the data that is relevant to your metrics. Make sure that you pull just the right amount of data to make sure that your reports are more efficient and more responsive. As you can see, the entity is now available for you with the attributes title and user, a relationship between the user title entity that I just created and the existing dimension system user entity by link by referencing the user ID on the newly created entity and the system user ID on the existing entity. Once this is done, go ahead and hit save and then you will be able to now pull in the data. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit the agent detail page where I want to see this information. And I'm gonna go ahead and create a new, new text box where I'm gonna pull in the title. So as you can see, I'm clicking on Kristen Patterson who happens to be one of my agents and then I'm getting the title loaded and escalation is the title. Um, as you can see, when I switch the agent from Kristen to uh, Jennifer, I'm gonna see the along with the rest of the data, which comes to the Dynamics 365 customer service data model, I also see the title refresh as uh, data that is fetched from Dynamics 365 directly. Once you're done making the changes, make sure that you save your file. Go ahead and click on publish to publish the latest report into Power BI. 